Google I slash O's Google's annual developer conference, but this year it seems like it's been fully hijacked by the company's hardware-making arm. According to a lot of recent rumors, the search giant will use the occasion to finally fully announce a bunch of new devices like the Pixel Fold, the Pixel Tablet, and the Pixel 7a. The company posted the quick video teaser to its Twitter account, letting it all out in front of everyone to see. Google hasn't revealed any specs for the device, but a brief teaser video shows off a full-size outer display on a phone that opens up similarly to Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold devices. The camera bar on the back is similar to other Pixel devices but doesn't stick out as prominently, reflecting what we've seen in leaked marketing materials and even a hands-on video. As revealed in various leaks, Google's first foldable phone has a vertical hinge that opens up to reveal a tablet-like display in a similar fashion to Samsung's Galaxy Fold devices. When the Pixel Fold is closed, you can use a smaller touchscreen that's on one side of the exterior. There's a camera array on the rear. There's no point in leaked renders anymore as there when the maker itself just shows its hand like this a week or so prior to the grand unveiling. Google has gone with a similar self-leak strategy last year as well, so this is nothing new of course. What is new for a foldable, especially nowadays, are those huge top and bottom bezels on the inner screen. We're not sure what's up with them and why they would be there. We've seen plenty of foldables and none of the latest ones have bezels as big as these appear to be. CNBC reported in April that the Pixel Fold would be a 5.8-inch phone that folds out into a 7.6-inch tablet. They'll reportedly include a Google Tensor G2 processor, weigh 10 ounces, and have the most durable hinge on a foldable, along with a price that's over $1,700. Samsung's latest foldable, the Z Fold 4, launched with a price of $1,799. We had expected to see it last year, but the Fold didn't make the cut for i slash o in 2022 and rumors about its launch haven't slowed down in the years since. Google is focused on teaching Android developers to make their apps work on foldable devices and larger screens, which may pay off next week with the launch of this device and the new Pixel tablet. A page on the Google Store allows interested parties to sign up for more info once it's officially revealed on May 10th. That concludes today's video. I hope you found the information useful. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to hear your thoughts on this topic, so please leave your comments in the section below. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.